Hey, welcome to the Phil Flights channel. I'm going to record a little demo of how to use Open Eboard and Open Tablet Driver. So go ahead and download and install uh, Open Tablet Driver um, and download and install um, Open Eboard. And first thing I'm going to do is cover Open Eboard. So this should be pretty quick. Um, when you launch Open Eboard, uh, most of this will be blank. You'll come down here into settings first, uh, down here in the bottom. You'll go to the um, to the games tab and you're gonna to wanna to point it at Microsoft Flight Simulator and that way it knows to go ahead and um, uh, run it basically when, uh, or to know to look for the app um, so that it's placing in game, I guess, or whatever. Um, in any case, you can add multiple games. This doesn't um, exclusively, this doesn't sit in your add-on folder or anything. This runs in your, in your VR scheme. Um, there might be other APIs here for people who are using VR through um, something else, I guess you could set it to auto detect or something, but uh, I use Steam VR uh, with OpenXR, so uh, mine is set to OpenXR. Um, so that you have to set that up, um, and then um, then under uh, virtual reality, um, you just want to go through and make sure um, that you have. Uh, I've set both of these on; it works perfectly for me. Um, I did set the kneeboard width and height in, in, uh, in meters, and that is in-game what it looks like. Um, and then for, um, you have things like the gaze zoom, like how big it gets relative when you look down at the kneeboard, um, that it zooms in and out. You have, I think there's an opacity for when you're looking at it or not looking at it, so you can make it you know, semi-transparent or something. I think that kind of breaks immersion. But the gaze gaze thing is pretty fantastic, um, and then um, then uh, under um, tabs, uh, well first under input, um, you're gonna want to set your centering. So recenter VR, uh, you want it to be the same key that you use to recenter your VR. So like wherever your head is gonna be. So I've got a certain um, uh, key on my throttle that I press to recenter my VR. Uh, this will do it with the um, same bind. Um, well, actually, I guess it's based on spacebar. But uh, in any case, um, and I think actually, uh, I think my trigger even hits spacebar and it's bad done next or something. So in any case, um, uh, you want to set up key binding for recentering it. Um, I don't tend to have to recenter it, it just kind of works. It's parented kind of to my VR um, space. Um, I think that. Uh, Generally, once I set it up, it's kind of worked all the time. So in any case, um, then uh, if we go to advanced, um, this is where you can uh, set your uh, the, the brightness of it. You can set your pen stroke size, your eraser size. Um, you can set a bunch of things in here. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I touched in here, but this stuff's all pretty straightforward. And then uh, in the tabs folder is how you, you can add either, um, you see I've got some that are PDFs here, and I've got some that are folders, um, and you know they can page through them. So you can create as many tabs as you want. I got rid of the default tabs, and then, you know, when you're, um, I think you're up here, let's see. So yeah, you can add a new tab, and then you can um, say you want a file or a folder, so this would be like a PDF, so it's um, one per tab. Uh, you can put in a folder of images, so I have my flight plans that when I save my flight plans and it goes into a PDF, they drop into a folder that this thing's pointed at, so I always get my um, flight plans together. Um, so uh, anytime I add a new flight plan, I've got more of them here. Um, any case, uh, that's all pretty straightforward. Um, and then, and this, so this is probably the easy part of setting things up. So we'll open eboard, open tablet driver um, is the trickier bit. And the first thing you want to do, which is going to make some of this a lot easier, is you're going to go up to the plugins. You're going to open up the plugin manager, and you're going to find open eboard, the open eboard plugin, and you're going to go ahead and install that. I th should have it already installed. Hopefully, it didn't. Uh, I guess it did uninstall it for me. Uh, that can't be true. Um, wait, how do I back out of this page? I'm just gonna 
Uh, oh, I would have to uninstall it. Wait, what happened? Where's my... Oh, I can just close this window. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused for a second there. So yeah, so in the you can see under filters, I've got the open kneeboard here. This is the plugin that I've loaded. So you're going to go to open plugin, find the open kneeboard, and you're going to install that. I've already got it installed, so I can close that window. Um, and then um, and then you're just going to want to make sure that it's on in filters. And what that does is ordinarily open tablet driver um, maps to a certain space on your monitor. By using that plugin, it always maps directly to the um, open kneeboard and you can actually minimize both open tablet driver and open kneeboard and it will it will map to the app it's basically a plugin that goes directly into open kneeboard it's not using monitor real estate or anything like that so they both have to be running when the sim is running uh, they don't go in your add-ons folder or anything they're separate apps um, and they just run and you just minimize them um, you don't you don't have to fuss with them once you're done I do think that your size, your width, and your height, this is basically um, the, uh, the, the ratio of width to height that your, that your, um, that your tablet should be. Um, I think that that does matter. Um, I don't, uh, I, I, uh, I'm not 100% sure because I did set that up before I had loaded the plugin. But in any case, um, you could try it without it. Um, I don't remember what this comes in as a default as, and I'm not going to mess with mine here. Um, but you might need to, it doesn't matter where this is on your screens. I've got three monitors here, um, but it does might matter in terms of the ratio, the width and height ratio. Um, and then finally, the tablet portion down here. This is, so if you imagine this is my physical tablet, and I've got a little cord coming out the side, the power cord. What I've done is I've rotated the orientation of the mapping on the tablet to be 90 degrees so that when I sit it, when I place it in my lap, it's vertical. It's not a horizontal tablet. Even though it's a horizontal tablet in, in other applications to map to a horizontal monitor, I want it to be a vertical um, orientation so that it matches what a kneeboard would look like. So I rotate it 90 degrees and then I think I I think I nudged these values, if I remember correctly, to make sure that I was mapping, because you can actually go beyond the tablet with these with these millimeters and go beyond uh, and map basically uh, a smaller portion of the of this area too. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. That gets all confusing. Uh, just know that you you probably want to um, play with this a little bit so that um, and you put your pen. Basically, I put my pen. I I look in. In VR, I would put my pen tip at the edge of the tablet or at the uh, at the top of this image, and I would see where I was on my tablet. And if I was here on my physical tablet, I would expand these these numbers, and you just kind of work out the mapping to your tablet. And then my power cable comes out of here, and that's off of the end of my knee. And so I've basically by rotating it 90 degrees, this tells you the orientation. Of the ta of the mapping um, and how it corresponds to this to this image, which is the open kneeboard uh, image. So hopefully that makes sense. I don't think I did anything else here uh, in terms of any of the other, these other things. You just make sure that the open kneeboard plugin is loaded and that you've oriented it the way you want and however you map it. Um, and again, these can both be minimized. I've after I set this up one time and I got it working on the first day, I haven't had to touch it since. I run it with my add-on linker as one of the apps that launches along with spad.next and my my seat platform mover and all the other software, my burner stuff, and I just minimize it. Um, I do run uh, add-on linker in um, in administrator mode um, because I, I need it for other things. Um, the these will give you a warning that says, hey, administrator mode not, might not work. I haven't had any problems with it. So these those warnings don't really mean much to me. It works 100% as I'd expect it to. So I'm not sure if that's for other apps or whatever. So hopefully this clarifies things. If you guys have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And hopefully this helps that you set it up for yourself. Cheers.